Yeah, I have. Um, I think it's a unique role that you, I'm never going to experience in any other part of life. I don't think there's any job where at the age of 22 you get thrown into being a director for charity and all the responsibilities and things you have to sort of do as part of the role. So, yeah, yeah really good experience. got to be up there there's probably a few either the free printing that I got into the study or I think the mass expansion of um, study spaces this year so it's weird looking back a year ago and knowing that there weren't the extended opening hours there wasn't the study space map there weren't the 120 places in halls there weren't all these um, improvements to the free room finder so it's really I think positive and it's a nice thing to know that for the future there's all these spaces that just didn't exist before me and They'll be here forevermore, most of them. And the new study coming where we're sat, basically. I think this role is always a challenge because inherently you're faced with asking what's right for a student, but then that conflicts often with what the university wants to achieve on, on a number of things. But I, I don't think I've had to do a massive amount of lobbying, actually, this year. A lot of the things I've wanted to achieve, I've been able to do in partnership with the university, which is really nice. Um, but it's, it's not always the case you can work together and just get on and agree. There's been quite a few things that we haven't agreed on this year. And I think it's, it's an enjoyable challenge because you know what you're doing is what's right for students. And it's that challenge of convincing the other side of the table what you're saying is right. And yeah, I've enjoyed it. Oh, it's a nice party, isn't it? It's a, nice, it's a really nice thing to actually recognise and celebrate not just the work that the academics at the university do, but also our school reps and course reps and part-time officers with the diversity of awards uh, came and joined us this year. So I think that's actually one of my highlights actually is seeing not just the work that I and Lean have been able to achieve, but also all of our reps um, in their elected capacities doing. Because um, they do so many things that are so, so positive for students. It's really nice to, to celebrate that and give some recognition for it. Um, is there anyone who's inspired me? Yes, so many people, too many people to name. Um, particularly the work that our amazing staff within the Students' Union do. I think it is a really tough and demanding role, but on a daily basis our staff go out there and put themselves out there and work every single day to improve students' lives. So, lots of people, yeah. You sort of recognise that change doesn't happen overnight and there have been a few of my, even my, two of my manifesto points I wasn't able to achieve fully this year, but it's all about, I think, making the point, raising it on the agenda and just, things aren't just like a one year stint. A lot of the things I worked on, Nar worked on previously and Sarah before him and it's, um, it's just like, I think it's like a process of laying the foundations for next year and doing everything you can within year. So whilst it's a frustration I haven't completed all the things I wanted to it's nice knowing that Lily's in a really good position for next year and she'll continue a lot of the work I've done because um, it's all about just doing what's right for students so it doesn't particularly matter that I haven't been able to sit in my year as long as it happens eventually it's a really tricky one because there's lots of things you'll miss um, I think the people is one of the things like working with all the different people you get to work with opens your eyes to what is possible and what you can achieve when you work with people. Um, so people, um, I think the unique nature of the job, it's a weird and challenging job, but actually it's quite a lot of fun at the end of the day.